welcome back to Math with Mr. Antoine. I am Mr. Antoine. Today we're going to talk about markups and markdowns. Okay, before we begin into that, what they are, uh, let's talk about ourselves as toy store owners. We are in the business of selling toys. And here's one of our items. This is our teddy bear. And, and when we sell something, that's called an, a goods or the item that's being sold. All right, so our item is this teddy bear. Now, let's talk about why we or businesses deal with markups or markdowns. To start, if this teddy bear, we get it from somebody, that means that we're going to have to buy it from someone in order for us to sell it in our store. So if I get this toy, it's this uh, teddy bear, and I buy it, Let's say we buy it for $5, okay? So we take this teddy bear and we now buy it for $5. Okay, now, let's see if I go this way. Now what's gonna happen is I eventually am going to have to, so I, bought, I buy this teddy bear. I'm going to sell this teddy bear. So I'm gonna take this teddy bear and now sell it. If I sell it, let's say I got it for $5, we sell it for $5. So we buy it for $5, and then we take the teddy bear and we sell it for $5. Okay, that's good. We just made bad off, make back our $5. But I'm going to take that $5 and buy another teddy bear because we have people that want this teddy bear. And then I'm going to sell it, all right, and make back the $5. And I keep continuing with this type of cycle. We're buying and we're selling it, right? Now, the thing is, as we keep doing this, we have, we have a, a store, right? So we have workers, we gotta pay our workers, right? When we have uh, bills, we have utilities that we have to pay, light bills, telephone bills, gas, things like that. And we also have ourselves. We are the owners of this store, right? So we have to pay ourselves. Well, if we keep doing this system of just buying it and selling it for just the same amount, there's no extra money coming in. There's no extra income. So in comes markups. Let's take this. All right, let's take that same scenario. We got the teddy bear, right? Remember the teddy bear, that's our goods. And now what we're going to do is, again, we're going to buy it. There goes my money. Our money, excuse me. So now we take this and we buy the teddy bear for $5. Now, what we're going to do is take that teddy bear and we're now going to sell it. Well, let's sell it for $9. Okay? Because if I sell it for $9, guess what we can do? We can now take that and we'll definitely put the $5 back to get a new teddy bear. We'll also then make an extra $4. Now, that extra $4 that we made, that's our markup. That's how much we marked up the price of that teddy bear. We, uh, we bought it for $5, but now we marked up the price by $4 to make it $9 when we sell it. That markup for us is how we eventually make our profit. That's how we make our money. All right, so the $4 is the markup that we did. We marked up the price of $4, and then we take that in order for us to make a profit. And with that profit, we can now take care of ourselves. We can now take care of our utilities. We can take care of our workers, okay? Now, that's just the beginning of what we're doing with it, but uh, that's an idea of how markup works. Now, we have a markdown also. So let's take the same teddy bear, okay? That teddy bear that we have is, let's say we know that it costs us, we're selling it for a price of nine dollars but you know now it's the season we want to see if we can get more people to come into our store so what we do is sometimes we could let's mark down mark down the price of the nine dollars let's now sell this teddy bear instead of for nine dollars let's sell it now for i'm gonna take this off this we're not gonna sell it for nine dollars anymore let's now sell it for $7, all right? So we just marked down the price 
we went, it was uh, originally $9, so now $7, which means from we did $9 and we took off $2 in order for us to make the $7. Well, now we've come to a markdown. So when we bring the price down, why, we want, why would we want to bring the price down? Well, like we said earlier, to bring more customers in because if there's a discount, all right, because markdown usually deals with the fact that we're creating a discount for customers. So with that, what we're doing is we're bringing more people to come into our business. And also what we're doing is um, uh, let's say maybe the teddy bear is not selling so much. We might want to bring the price down so we can get the teddy bears to be sold. We don't want to keep it there. All right. So that would be a markup and a markdown. So just to recap, a mark. Oh, let's do. Let's start with this one first. A markup. Pull it back. A markup is the amount of money added to the cost price. The cost price is what we bought it for, or the original amount. So the amount of money added to the cost price of the goods and items in order to make a profit. That's how we make our money. And when we have a markdown, a markdown is the reduction in the price. Reduction pretty much is saying that it's the amount of money that's being taken off the price. Now, let's talk about our next item that we're going to uh, sell. Can you guess what that is? You got it, that's our bicycle. And here, this is our next item or goods. All right, so when we got this bike, our, our cost price, meaning the price that we paid for the bike is $70. Okay, we, so we pay $70. So we want to now bring up the price on it. We want to mark it up to make a profit. So our markup rate is 60%. All right. So in order for us to do this, let's do, let's to find out how much is going to be our markup. We're going to do 60% of the $70. Okay, and uh, remember, we want to turn 60% into a decimal. Let's just do the work on the side here. Remember that 60% means 60 out of 100, right? And when you take 60 out of 100 and you divide it, 60 divided by 100, you'll get 0 0.60, okay? So 60% will now come out to be 0 0.60. Of means multiplication, and we're going to take 60% of the um, cost price, $70. Now, when you do the math of 60 hundredths or 0.60 times 70, we get $42. So this is our markup. That's how much we're going to mark it up by, by $42. So we take our cost price, add it with the markup, and we come out to $112. So now this is what we are selling the bicycle for. So that's going to be called the selling price. Our selling price is $112 for the bicycle. All right. Now, let's say now we took this bike and we put it up and we started selling it. We made some money, $112 each time. But now we have one of the seasons coming in. Let's say it's Christmas and we want more people to come in. So we want to take that and give the, the customers a discount. Well, we know that our selling price, all right? And again, we have to speak of ourselves as owners. So it's a different vocabulary for owners as it is for um, customers. Our selling price was $112. Let's say we want to mark down the price. And our markdown is going to be at a markdown rate. Let's see, let's give them 15%. Okay. All right. So we want to bring the price down a little bit. So now we want to find out how much is it going to cost us. So when you're doing a markup, you have to find out the amount of money and add it. With a markdown, you want to find out how much is the, the money and you're going to subtract. That's your reduction. So let's take it. Let's do it. 
we have 15% of 112 dollars right um, when we do the math I'm just going to do it quickly on the side here it's 112 and remember the 15% is not going to become 0 0.15 of becomes multiplication and it's going to be for $112. So it's going to be 0 0.15, 0 0.15 multiplied to 112 and I have 560, put a zero to hold the place. And I have 112 here. So I have 1,120. Add these two up, I have Zero, 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 0061 and um, I have to move the decimal over because it's moved two spaces here so then I will move it and it's zero spaces here that's a total of two spaces so now I have a markdown okay what this will come out to is sixteen dollars and eighty cents that's my markdown So now with that markdown, I'm going to subtract it from the cost that we had. Our selling price was $112, right? So it's going to be $112. And I'm taking away $16.80. And so when I finish, I do um, the subtraction. I come out to 0. Becomes 10. That becomes 11. And this will be 2. This is five. This is now become ten. So I have ninety-five dollars and twenty cents. This will now become our discount for the customers. Okay, so that's our discount price to them. So again, we now found the markdown. The markdown was sixteen dollars and eighty cents. And when I subtract it from the price that we were selling it for, it comes out to. Um, $95.20.